What's up guys and welcome back once again to Diddy Reviews. Today I'm checking out another call from Thermorite, so a massive thank you once again to those for sending this out for me to review. And this is a new AIO, this is the 360. It's the Frozen Prism 360 Black ARGB. You also do it in a white version as well. Um, so if you don't, uh, if you have a white build, you can get a, a white version for it as well. But I've got it in the black version, matches my build nicely. Um, so we'll get it unboxed, we'll show you what it looks like. I'll basically give you an idea of what the quality is like of it. Um, I expect good things because most of the right stuff that I've tested so far has been very good. Uh, and then we'll get it installed in the system and uh, we'll give it a test and see how well it performs. So as you can see, this is the Frozen Prism 360 Black ARGB. As the name states, it's a 360mm AIO, so three 120mm fans, uh, obviously three included ARGB fans with it, and there's ARGB on the pump block as well. Um, it does support Ryzen 7000 series and LGA 1700 for Intel, um, so it's ready to go for all the current gen stuff. So in the box you get your standard user manual, which you get with all of these things. Um, a box of accessories for installing it. So all your accessories are in there for your mounting hardware. And then this is the AIO itself. So quick, let's have a quick look at the pump block first. As you can see, it's quite a hefty pump block. It's quite tall and um, feels really solidly made. It's all metal construction around the outside. There's no plastic on that at all. The RGB is in the logo behind here, which has got a cover on it at the moment. Uh, mounting screws are already connected to it, which is good. And then you've got a copper um, cold plate on the bottom, which isn't nickel plate, it's a straight copper. Um, nice big area as well, so you should get plenty of coverage for all CPUs. And then one thing I really like is these here, these obviously rotate, these uh, the tubes in the pump block can rotate to make it easier for you to install elsewhere. It's got sort of these metal, metal uh, rings on the end and on the other end as well that are on the nice braided hose and it feels really, really quality to be fair, this one. Um, like all the thermal right stuff has in the past to be fair. But yeah, it feels really, really good quality. Then onto the radiator, it's a standard 30 mil thick radiator or 28 mil. Um, thermal right branding on there. It's a pretty much standard fin density on these. You can probably see through it on the camera there. Um, it's not massively high, it's not massively low either. Um, it says low resistance on the box, um, so it should mean we can get plenty of air through through there. And then the fans that are on it, obviously like an ARGB. They're hublets, so they go through the translucent blades and they're, like I say, already connected, which is really good. Um, means I don't really have to do anything other than chuck it on and uh, connect it up. Um, so yeah, that's that's it really, guys. There's not really much more to show you on that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get it installed um, and then I'll show you what it looks like in B-roll and uh, we'll sh then talk about the performance. Well, there we go. There's the uh, Frozen Prism 360 Black ARGB by Thermalrite installed and tested. And um, Thermalrite have done it again. It looks absolutely incredible and performs really well too. Um, as you've seen from the B-roll, RGB is absolutely brilliant on it. RGB on the block looks really, really nice. It's all blacked out and then there's just a little subtle uh, sort of line around it and the logo in the middle. Fans look great as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> in terms of looks, can't complain at all. And I love like the silver accents on the tubes and stuff like that. It just looks really, really good. It's going to fit in pretty much anyone's build, unless you're doing a white one, but then there is a white one available. Um, so enough of that. Let's uh, talk about the performance. And again, like I say, Thermal Right are uh, smashing it out of the park again, as they always do. So the system is the same test system I've been using for a while now. It's 5900X on a B550E Strix motherboard from Asus with a 3080 in it, 32GB of so RAM at 3600. Um, obviously the main thing is the CPU, it's 5900X. Uh, stock with PBO turned on, onto auto, so obviously it can do what it wants. And I run a five minute Cinebench test um, to see what the maximum temperature is it will get at full speed, um, because obviously that's the, the, the cooler's full potential then. Uh, I will be doing a series later on where I'm testing all of my coolers um, and those I'm going to do some noise normalisation figures so you can see sort of how it performs in terms of when it's noise normalised uh, at the same noise level because that will show you the true story of how good they are and the, the quietness and whatnot. Um, so getting into the test results, um, 
The ambient temperature in here is very high. It's uh, currently 27 degrees. When I did the test, it was around 26.7, 26.8. So I've put um, temperature over ambient figures in as well for you to see, um, so you can get an idea because obviously it's not gonna be the same as if the room was at 15 degrees. Um, so idle at 26.7 degrees ambient uh, on the CPU was 33 uh, with a over ambient of 6.3. And the package was 36 with an over ambient of 9.3. Um, maximum CPU um, with an ambient of 26.8 was at 61, which gives a 34.2 temperature over ambient. And the package was at 72, which gives a 45.2 over ambient. So the, fan, the, the results are absolutely fantastic here. When you consider the temperature in the room at the start, um, performs really, really well. If you brought that obviously down to a normal temperature <laughs> when it's not summer the height of summertime and um, then obviously you're going to be looking at mid to low 60s on even on your package so absolutely fantastic result well done them right once again and then finally i looked into the uh, noise levels of this um obviously it's running three fans and it's got a pump as well so it's going to get quite loud um and that's obviously where you've got to decide whether you want something that's going to be loud or something's going to cool really well or if you're looking for silence obviously you can run it slower um, but then you'll, you'll lose performance. Um, so it depends what you want. Personally, I'm a get it as cool as possible. I don't care about the sound. And this obviously was with the side panels off anyway. Um, but if you want a more quiet system, like I say, you can run it uh, slower. Um, no, it won't get as much performance, but still it should perform pretty well. Um, so in terms of the sound, 100% of fans and 100% of pump, pumps always run at 100%. Um, so it was 20, I think 1850 RPM these these fans run at. However, for some reason this is recording 21,000. Don't know why. Uh, 2100, sorry. Um, so 100% was at 43 decibels. Quite loud, definitely audible. Uh, like I say, but I've got the panels off. 75% was at 38 decibels, and at 50%, so obviously half the speed was at 35 decibels, and then at minimum, which came down to about 400 RPM, which is hardly anything at all, it was still at 35. Uh, decibels so obviously that shows the sound floor I've got with this system because obviously I've got a graphics card in there and I've got other fans as well um, that I can't turn off at the moment um, so yeah in terms of sound it's not too bad it, it has got three fans on it so it is going to get loud obviously um, but 43 is not horrendous um, it is definitely audible though so if it's something you're bothered about then obviously turn it down or look at an air cooler or something like that like a Noctua things like that because they are very very quiet for the performance you get um, so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you were looking at buying one of these, then hopefully this makes you, helps you make a decision on whether you want one. They are very, very cheap by the way, that's another thing I need to point out. For a 360 AIO with RGB, <laughs> um, I think they're around 65 or 70 pounds, so it's absolutely nothing really compared to some of the competition out there. So Thermal Right are absolutely <laughs> smashing it with price and performance. Um, one thing I will say is I don't like about it, but it's the same with most AIOs that have got ARGB is so many cables, there's two cables for the pump, two cables for each fan, it's it's a mess of cables, so hopefully firmware right in the future will come out with some sort of uh, modular fans like Leon Lee and stuff like that, that would be lovely to see, or run the cables through the tubes um, to get them out of the way, um, but that's same with a lot of AIOs, so it's not just firmware right, um, like I said, price is fantastic, performance is fantastic, and yeah, <laughs> if you're looking at 360 AIO and don't want to spend a lot of money, get this one for sure. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you did please give it a like, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave me any comments in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching, goodbye.